Hey everyone, today we are gonna go ahead and make a little frog. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is heat up a thicker rod. Um, this is just clear and I am using, I think that's Mai Tai from Tag. Um, it's a really nice little striker. I like it because you can put it on real thin and still get the same effects. So that means no wasting color. So what I'm doing here is just encasing that end part of the clear in the Mai Tai. And this is gonna go ahead and be our little frog's body. All right, so now that I have that encased, I'm just blasting it with some heat to go ahead and get everything um, nice and melted in. I'm using my little Elmarver to um, just kind of help that process so you don't have to heat it too much. Now that it's heated, I went ahead and squished it just a little bit. This is the shape that we're going for. It's an overall kind of um, a diamond is what the, the shape is for a frog. So after squishing that a bit, I squish it with the tweezers. That's gonna go ahead and create just a little bit of an indentation. And that part is going to be uh, the frog's head. Okay, so I'm gonna go through, um, the body is a little bit um, too kind of short and fat for me, so I am just pulling it out a little bit and elongating it, making sure that any kind of stress marks are polished out. I'm trying to find a punty to use. Should have had that ready. There we go. So I'm just doing a cold seal to the frog's head. And do a quick blast to keep the body warm. And then I'm going and heating right at that termination between the, the rod itself and then the color that we encased. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull off that little bit of clear that's left from the rod so the entire body is completely encased with the color. I'm just gonna round out the back end. And then we're gonna start pushing it into that diamond shape. So now that it's the shape that I want, I'm gonna go through and do just a couple quick dots just to give it some interest. This is just clear, I think it's a two millimeter rod that I was using. And with this clear on top of the striking color, it's going to make just a really um, pretty kind of difference that you'll see. Um, it's not a huge difference. Um, I made sure that you know I didn't strike it too much. I striked it exactly how I wanted it, so I didn't want it to be too crazy. So I have this mushroom that I went ahead and made beforehand. I'm heating up the entire mushroom itself. I started hearing some cracking, so I just wanted to make sure we were all good there. And everything looks fine, so I'm going to go ahead and heat the cap and then heat the underside of the frog. Tap off the punty, that came off really easy because of that cold seal. You'll see that, how I placed the frog there. It's not exactly on the very top because you don't want him falling over. I'm going through and I'm shaping the head a little bit here now that we have him connected to his little mushroom. The head itself is going to be kind of a little, um, I guess, triangle or another little uh, diamond. So now that I have his head done, I'm going to go ahead and make his back legs. You want to see the shape of the legs start at the bottom, you'll see in just a second, and they go up and then down and then back up. So you have this kind of zigzag leg. So I start at the bottom, go up, and go down, and then I'm gonna leave it right there. This is gonna be his little foot. I'm just gonna go through and sculpt this a little bit, make sure that it is the, the look that I'm going for. 
Um, the legs itself, you want to make sure that they have that kind of little muscle showing so it's going to be a little fatter in the middle and then you'll see like where its joints are, it gets a little skinnier. Once you get that leg down, the legs really, I think, are what sell it. Between that and the eyes, as long as you have good eyes and good legs, it really makes a little frog. So again, I'm just doing the same thing and kind of molding everything how I want it. This little tool, I'm using this little spatula. I love it. I got it in a little set that I got. Um, I think I just got it off eBay, but it came with a bunch of little dental tools. And so this little spatula is one of them. I use this all the time. Um, I also have like a little pick that I use. Um, you'll actually probably see in just a second when I do his face. Um, but I use that for raking and to add bubbles and different things as well. So I'm going through, I'm just smushing down the very edge of his foot. You'll see the, the shape that kind of comes out with those legs. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to his arms. And the arms are the same thing. It's going to start off at the shoulder, go back towards kind of the body, and then go back up. So you go back and then down. And with this, it didn't quite get as much glass as I'd like, so I had to add a little bit more. And now again, just shaping it how I'd like it. And again, adding just a little more. That, that arm didn't come out quite as thick as I had wanted it, and I really want that, that muscle to show. So that one's all nicely shaped. We're going to put on the last arm now. Again, the same thing. It's going to start up from the shoulder, go back, and then go forward to the mushroom to stand. I guess that's standing. The frog stand. Okay, so I have the shape just about there. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do with the little fingers, you'll see in a second here, is I smush down where the, the little hands are. And that creates kind of a little circle. And that's going to be the little base to put the finger, fingers on. I'm looking for a stringer. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This is the little hand. If you pretend you squish it, you put the four little fingers and then squish the ends of those. And again, that kind of creates the, the circle. And if you'd like, you can always go back and kind of put an extra little dot at the end of each finger just to kind of accentuate that a little bit. Um, but like I said, as long as you get kind of that shape and you see the, the difference between the finger and like the end of the finger, um, that's really the, the important part. remember with the stringers you want to go through and just bring your flame way down so your stringer doesn't get crazy and just like I did a second ago you want to keep some heat on it overall to make sure nothing's gonna start cracking on you squishing each little finger down. Again, just kind of blasting everything, moving on to the next hand. Pushing down the fingers. So now that we have that all done, we are gonna move on to his eyeballs. 
So I'm taking the Mai Tai and I'm just going to put a little dot on the top um, on each side where his little eyes are. You want to make sure they're even. There was one on the side that was a little bit smaller than the other one. So I just went ahead and added a little more. I think I had more. Yeah, I had more still. He said it's those eyes that that are the other part of really making it nice and just believable. So I push back the front of the eyes just a little bit with that spatula to create kind of a little platform to go ahead and start putting everything on. This is just white that I'm dotting on there. And I'm going to be using an eye marini um, that I had made right before this. Um, it's just a little quick kind of amphibian eye. Um, if you don't have an eye marini, not a problem. You can always just put, um, I usually do a, a layer of white and then a layer of color and then the little black pupil. Um, but you can do it however you see fit. So I have, once I have those connected, that's when I go through and again, heat everything up nice and hot. I started hearing cracking again, um, but I went ahead and stuck the marini on. You want to be really careful when you're pushing that down so you don't distort it. You want to go ahead and kind of push them back to where it looks like they're kind of sunk into um, the, the dots that we put in initially. This white that I use, I don't know what it is, but it's liking to crack a lot. Um, oh, you just saw that tool too, that little pick. That was the other um, like dental tool I was talking about. Just making his little mouth there real quick. I'm just going, there was a couple little dots that I put on before that had melted in too much. So I went ahead and just added a little bit more clear in there just so there is a little um, bumps everywhere and you don't see any kind of difference. There we go. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.